Hey there, and thank you for asking about your microcurrent setting on your 4-in-1 that you bought from SD Spot. We will be going over the setting facelift, which is another word for microcurrent. I'm gonna go over how to use the machine on your client and the certain patterns you can do. Also, um, when it's appropriate in the treatment or how to use it on its own. So I have my client here. She's already cleansed, we've exfoliated, um, and now we're gonna move on to the massage portion. So if you are doing a regular facial, like a European, you would want to incorporate your machine into the massage portion. So, I have here the colloidal mask from Dermalogica. It's a gel-based mask. You can also use um, electrotherapy gel. You can usually get it, I think, just about anywhere in the drugstore, any kind of jelly. Something that's not going to dry out too fast, but it's going to give you a nice slip and grip. So, we're going to jump right into it. So I'm gonna work in sections. So first I'm gonna start on her jawline and um, I'm just only gonna apply in that area. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna feel amazing. Perfect, set that aside. All right, so we're gonna turn on our machine, holding down the power button for about three seconds. Perfect, it's gonna load up. And then we're gonna go ahead and push our facelift button we have to remember that's microcurrent because that's what it does it lifts the face retrains the muscles so you're just gonna hold that you're gonna want to make sure you have it at where it says the 15 minute time and you can see that squiggly line that means it's moving that means the, the currents are working so these silver sides you have to make sure you're holding on or you're making contact with those silver sides this is going to complete the current we have current coming through to her skin. It's going through us traveling, and that's why we need to make contact with her skin here through our cells. We're completing that circuit. So it's set for 15 minutes. 15. And we're literally just gonna go with microcurrent and follow through. Just do simple passes like this for now. This is how we get the start of it. Making sure I'm following through. You want to make sure you keep at least an inch space between the modality and your fingers. That is where that current is going to be jumping. So I'm going to do six passes. So here's my last pass. And then I'm going to move on to the corners of her mouth to about her ear lobe. Six passes. Again, making sure you're keeping contact with that silver on the side. And we're going to say that's about six passes. <laughs> so I'm going to set my machine down real quick and just get some gel, my little colloidal mask. Okay, we're going to move right there now. Move right onto her cheek zone. Right under the eye to about the temple area. With my machine back, it should still be counting down. Kind of brace her nose right here. And work right on the cheek area, same thing, six passes. And last one. Perfect. Um, it's good to slow it down, really let them just relax and um, get the benefits of it. This next pass I'm going to do is I'm going to go over her cheek again. So I'm going to jelly her up. Now this method is um, going to be a, a method where I have it stay still. So what I'm going to do is lift under her cheek and hold that cheek muscle up for a good six seconds. I feel like six is the magic number for this. And you have to remember that microcurrent is retraining the muscles, re-educating the muscles. So it's, this is where you're going to get that real lifting action. So again, bracing her nose. I'm going to swing it around under her cheek and then hold to about right there right under the cheek area three two one same on that side maybe a little bit over three two and one and we'll do it again full six seconds three two one the last section three two and one 
So that's where I feel like your clients will mostly see the benefit is when you're really sending those currents through the skin and into that muscle. That's where you're gonna get that lifting action. Most of the t most of the the drag and follow methods are gonna be great for like fine lines, um, wrinkles. It's gonna help smooth that out. It's literally like an ironing method. So we're gonna move on to her forehead. And I do work on one section of the face at a time. Right, left. Work your way up from top to bottom. So just from out mid forehead down to the temple. Perfect. Okay, have my machine. Make sure it's still going. Now this time I'm gonna brace right where I started the gel mask at. So I'm still, still have the slip and grip. And I'm gonna do the same ironing method but up and then move it up so wrinkle the uh, smooth the wrinkles up <laughs> so following through here lift make sure to take your time and go slow lift this is really relaxing for the client they might feel a little tingle or warmness on the skin that's completely normal that's that microcurrent running through it to about the temple zone, I'm gonna smooth out right where that crow's feet lines are usually at. I'm gonna start right here on her cheek, brace, place my machine down, and smooth out the crow's feet usually right there. Okay, okay. and then we'll do it again. You can do about six passes. This as well, and then moving down to the to the cheek, and the swooping up, smoothing out those crow's feet. Perfect. So another method you could use of the pinpoint um, massage is going to be lifting the brow. This is I feel like everybody's favorite because it's going to give you that eye lift in the mini facial. That's where the term lunchtime facelift really came from. This is gonna create a major lifting effect. It's not permanent um, unless you do it regularly. Again, you're retraining that muscle. So this is gonna be a treatment that you, would, you could do with your clients as many times as you want. Um, some clients come in once a week, some might come twice or just monthly. The more they do it, the more the results are gonna see. So for the brow, I'm gonna run my modality through the brow and lift right here right where her arch is and just hold that there for again the, the magic number six so i'm going to run it over her brow and lift there for about six seconds let that current go through the muscle and let it lift and you can do this for a series of you know four or six times so again through the brow lift Six seconds. Perfect. Perfect. So again, you can do that a few series of times, and then you'll want to run through again with the sections starting at the jawline and lifting. You could even follow it down into the neck. As long as you're trailing, that's how you're completing the circuit. You're trailing, and you're making sure you grip these silver sides. It's going to complete the circuit. Um, how it feels to you is um, just warm, You're not going to feel really too much activity, mostly the client will, and you just want to drag and lift to the jawbone, work in planes, just like waxing. And she's going to absorb some of that moisture because this is also going to be pushing the current through the skin as well. And about, we're about nine minutes in, um, your machine will start to vibrate a little bit more, meaning your intensity um, went up. So that's automatic. So if your client thinks it's too much by the halfway mark, just go ahead and restart it. And it should be back to 15 seconds and it'll be at the lower, lower section, but you know that when it starts vibrating, your time is up. Um, I've never had a client who didn't want it more powerful, so. Just go ahead and continue with the treatment. Um, about then, you'll know that you're halfway through on this side of the face. And you can jump over and repeat on this side as well. Um, how you would incorporate this into any kind of treatment. I incorporated it in the massage section. 
in a European facial with my client here. We cleansed, exfoliated, we're gonna jump into the massage. That helps put, push that mask in, which is why I would recommend using a jelly mask that's gonna be hydrating, she's gonna get some benefit, more so than just the electro jelly that you could buy at like Walgreens. Um, then you're gonna continue with the regular mask, which will even penetrate better because all those um, cells are gonna be electrocharged and ready to absorb. And also, you can um, upcharge for this, you know, $25 to $40, whatever you feel comfortable with. It's going to extend your treatment maybe 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your, um, how much you want to use time with this. Adjust the price however you would like. It's a great add-on. That's how you're going to make your service dollar go up. By itself, if you're going to bring your client in for the quote-unquote lunchtime facelift, you would cleanse your client. You can tone your client and you could just throw in the jelly and do the facelift. If you want to add exfoliation in there, go ahead. That um, That's probably my favorite treatment because it's fast and you can charge up to like $50 for 30 minutes of your time. Uh, talk about fast money. Um, you could charge up to maybe $100 if you'd like, depending on what products you use in your time. Um, again, most of it is going to be in the massage portion or in the serum portion when you're trying to push serums through. Mostly it's for um, muscle re-education. Again, going to create that nice lifting effect onto the skin. Um, if you have any more questions about the microcurrent, I'll be glad to assist you. This is probably one of my most favorite settings to use at home on myself as well. After I put my serums on, right before my moisturizer, give myself a quick massage. Um, since you are holding it yourself, you are completing the circuit, so you will not need to trail on yourself, but with your clients, complete the circuit, hold the silver, connect, that goes through, there you go. Thank you so much, and uh, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to um, email sdspot at support at sdspot.com, and uh, we'll be able to get back to you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening.